Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to replace this petrol tap, the fuel tap. What happens is it's closed there and then you'd open it and fuel will travel through there to the carburetor. Sometimes these get damaged, sometimes this actual handle breaks off. So in this case this one is damaged, I'm going to remove it and replace it with a replacement part. Now usually there's fuel in this tank, so the best practice is to remove the fuel. If you can't remove the fuel, uh, and if the tap is still working, you can remove the hose and then let the fuel drip into a bucket. In this case, the tank is completely empty. There's nothing in the tank. So in this case, what I'm first going to do is remove the hoses. Over here, there are some spring clamps. I'm just going to open them and move them further back. So it's past where the nipple is. Now I can pull this pipe back off the nipple there. It's not a bad idea to replace the pipe at this point. My pipe is still in good working order so I won't be replacing the pipe but it might be useful to have a spare pipe when doing this repair. Depending on the size of the pipe and the generator you'll need a clamp or the spring clips as shown here. Using a number 21 I'm going to release this nut here. You might even find that you can just rotate the tap. Be very careful when you're taking it out. There's a little filter that's seated inside here and I don't want to snap it. I don't want that filter to fall inside. Sometimes it's brittle. There's the filter. I'm now going to repair this or replace this. There are different types of fuel taps. So just make sure that when you do get your replacement that you get the right type. For example, this one uses a lock nut over here. This one has threads all the way and uh, would thread into the tank side while this one over here uses a holding nut and then I'll just need to put some PTFE tape here. So right now I'm going to repair this. Right, so I'm just cleaning the threads, removing any dirt here. Now I'm just taking some plumber's tape. This is PTFE tape and I'm just going around a few times and more specifically here towards the top. Now I take the replacement unit, insert it here, and I can tighten this nut. It might be easier to just turn the whole unit. And now I use, uh, in this case, a number 22 spanner to tighten this nut over here. If you've got a pair of pliers to hold it in place while you tighten the nut. If yours is very difficult to get on, a little trick is to just take some water and just wet it. And then put the hose on. Now I just uh, put the spring clips on and there we go, it is tight and good as new. So closed, open. A little tip, if you don't want to change your entire pipe, what you can also do is just cut away about one or two centimeters of the old pipe if it's long enough and then you can use the fresh part of the pipe instead of the deformed part when you return the pipe. Right. Thanks for watching. Cheers.